You guys, it's your buddy JT here. Welcome to the vlog. I'm just gonna get right to it. I'm hungry and I'm really craving a salad right about now. I have a, I have a cough drop in my mouth and it just tastes awful. It tastes like I took a big glob of um, Vicks Vapor Rub and just stuck it in my mouth. This is a strong cough drop. I feel like I, I would rather prefer to be coughing right now than have this in my mouth. Anyways, I'm just really craving a salad. So let's go to the grocery store and get some salad, some salad fixins. Can't even talk. This is, I, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to have put this in my mouth. But where else, what other hole of my body would this have possibly gone into? I think it's, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to take this orally. But this is the nastiest, strongest cough drop that I've ever tasted in my GD life. By the way, I forgot to mention, before we get the salad stuff at the grocery store, we're gonna take a little, we're gonna take a little trip to Target because I also want to find a few cute ornaments. I just, I'm in a, I'm just, I'm in the mood for salad and ornaments. I just kind of want to go see if I can find some cool, cute, funny ornaments at Target. So we're going on a good old fashioned JT salad ornament run. Yeehaw! Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, doo dee 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 doo And by the way, uh, I just want to point out that I am rocking, I'm very excited about this, I am rocking a pair of men's leather pants that I got, I think from H&M. I've never actually tried to style uh, leather pants for dudes before, but um, I think they're pretty sexy and cool. Look at them. Pretty high quality, very nice and cozy and warm. I'm liking them. Have a holly jolly Joshmas. It's the best time of the year. So even though I came to Target to look for cool little ornaments, I saw this little peppermint stand and decided I should probably pick up a couple of these because they look delicious. I could tell that I would probably need a basket. And they've actually got a pretty good assortment of ornaments here at Target. For example, I found this cute little um, deer or elk. I'm not really sure what this is, but I like it. I really like these little snowmen playing instruments. They're kind of a unique little idea. They look pretty happy. So these ornaments look like little letters to Santa, and they come in snowman and penguin flavors. Here we have a fuzzy, colorful popsicle, and then some traditional snowman too. I, I have no idea what's really going on in this bin. All these ornaments look a little cheap, they feel a little cheap, but I do have to admit, I like the Santa Claus in a hot air balloon. Look at this guy. Oh my, okay, I hit the jackpot here. I don't even think I need to comment on this. I could never have too many shark ornaments, but uh, this sucker is doused in glitter. And usually I'm cool with glitter, but this is not coming off. I don't want to exaggerate, but I'm pretty sure this is pure evil. This little bird looks like it wants to go to Christmas bingo. <laughs> here's a bunch of, uh, here's a bunch of colorful little poodles, because why not? We got some Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus ornaments, but I have to say, I felt like this pair of skis would probably be a pretty cool decoration somewhere in my house. Oh, and speaking of skis, look at this little guy. Of course, there's a Fortnite banana ornament. I really like this frosty can of Coke, but it's friggin' nine dollars. I really liked this Heinz ketchup bottle too, but it's ten dollars. I could get like three real bottles of ketchup for that. These are obviously not ornaments, but I really like these plush Christmas trees. They, they are, you know, as you can tell, they have some trouble standing up, though. Before leaving Target, I stopped in an aisle of mirrors to take a selfie for Instagram. It's funny, the mirror on the left is warped, and it makes you look all short and smushed. But I do love this outfit, though. It's pretty damn fire. And finally, it's time to stop at the grocery store to get our salad goodies. 
some broccoli and cauliflower, carrot sticks, and of course, a bag of lettuce. We are home. My seats are leather in the car. I have a leather jacket on and I have leather pants on. Listen to, listen to how squeaky I am. I'm squeaky. Oh, look at that. You can see the reflection of my fake fireplace that I got going on the TV there. You can see the reflection in my bed. It looks like my bed is on fire, which, wouldn't be the first time that happened, you know what I mean, ladies? Ah, ding. Okay, listen, uh, very quickly, I wanted to give you guys a review of the infamous leather pants here, the men's leather pants from H&M or Forever 21. I can't remember where I ordered them from. I have to look though, because I'm ordering a second pair of these exact pants. They're really cool. They, um, they feel very cozy. They're just warm enough. They move really well. You know, it wasn't like I was feeling stiff. And uh, gotta be real with you, um, the whole time I was wearing them, I felt, uh, felt kind of kinky. <laughs> felt, felt a little naughty, but uh, no, I, I really like them. I also have a pair coming that are, uh, they're gray, like a gray pair of leather pants. They look pretty cool too, so I'm excited. But yeah, I am definitely uh, gonna get another pair of these because kind of right up my alley. They're pretty cool. They, they sort of make you feel like a little bit like a badass. <laughs> this leather jacket is really great too. I don't think any of these are like real leather. It's all like fake leather, but big fan of this. This is really like kind of thick, very warm, cozy. I have quite a few jackets actually. So there's that one that we just looked at. But then we got this one. This is real cool. It's got like a, you know, shiny vinyl vibes to it. Gold and silver. Got uh, some more of that shiny silver looking stuff going on. I really like this jacket. It's got a red, white, and blue color scheme. Here's a blue leather jacket, denim jacket, black leather, black leather, kind of a camo, not kind of a camo print. It literally is a camo print. This is kind of my go-to jacket that I've been using a lot. I really like the texture kind of print that they got going on there. So I'm a big fan of jackets. That's kind of my newest thing that I'm into. So what kind of ornaments did we pick up from Target? Well, obviously you know a few of them because I was throwing them into the basket. This one is amazing. Is there, what is stuck to this? Hold on, there we go. This one is amazing. I love this. Look at it. It looks so dumb. I don't think, I don't know if I'm gonna put it on the tree or not, but it's great. You sit right there. I also got this. It's um, an upside down tree. Wait a minute, hold on a second. I wonder, oh, if you flip it around, then it's a, a non upside down tree. Okay, that makes more sense. But it's just a little, little plush tree for Christmas. I like it. A little basic, but ah! Anyways, uh, and then I got this. I don't even remember what I got, by the way, so I'm getting surprised looking at these. It's a snowman with the drum. pa rum pum 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 me and my drum. Oh my God. Oh, I booped you in the nose with his drum. Boop. Okay, anyways. Uh, are you going to stay blurry for the rest of the video? There we go. So I like him. I kind of want to get the one with the tambourine as well. So I might be heading back. What else is in here? Oh, okay, I, I remember this. I like how I forgot what I got and it was like an hour ago. So this is just little skis. Very cool. I'm probably gonna hang this on a wall or, or I'm, this isn't going on the tree. This is gonna go like as a decoration somewhere. Very nice. And then I think the last thing, no, there's nothing else in there. The last thing of course is our little skiing bird. Ooh, he feels thick. Damn homie, you thick. Why is he, he feels solid or maybe it's a she. Um. I think it's a she. Anyways, uh, this is just great. Okay, let's uh, let's figure out where we want to put all these little ornaments. So I think the skis, the skis would look kind of cool next to the snowman on the shelf here. That's pretty good. I think the little plush tree might look kind of cool right there. That works pretty well. And I think. 
it's a good idea to keep snowmen by each other, and they sort of look like the same art style. So we'll put our little drummer snowman over here next to his big buddy, the cone snowman. And last, but certainly not least, our little star boy is gonna hang out underneath a Christmas tree instead of on top. Look at how happy he is. So I am, uh, I'm pretty much done with my Christmas shopping, but I did get a few more things for my little nieces. Um, I got them some Claire's gift cards because they like to shop at Claire's. They're like four and six years old. So that's the main gift. But they're kids, so they're also obsessed with candy, and Uncle Joshy always gives them candy. So we got, what is this? Yummy, yummy, gummy candy, and it's a bunch of little unicorns. So they're each getting one of those. My goal is to basically rot their teeth. Uh, they're always wanting, like, uh, Reese's peanut butter cups, so I saw these little peanut butter Santas. They're going to get them. They're obsessed with gum, as I imagine most children are. So I got this bubble tape of Santa Claus. And then we got these little um, lumps of coal Butterfinger Bites, which just looked really adorable. I almost got these for me, but then I was like, you know what? I'm pretty happy being in shape, and I don't need to be eating this kind of stuff nonstop. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get a little bit more candy for them. The candy's just a bonus. The gift cards are the main thing, but um, it's kind of fun shopping for candy for children because I like buying this kind of crap, but I don't want to eat it. So I've been making some Christmas cards to send out, and I put extra effort into my Christmas cards. So this is going to uh, my good buddy Dan, and uh, Dan and I like to watch Frasier and joke about Frasier. So his Christmas card theme... <laughs> Is Frasier related? I'm sending him some s'mores cocoa, but uh, if you're a fan of Frasier, you might get the reference. Uh, there's a little cocoa mug there with some marshmallows in it. It says Merry Crane Moss instead of Christmas. And it says, I got you this special cocoa mix from Cafe Nervosa. Niles said he insists you mix it in milk, not tap water. So I, I hate when people use tap water for cocoa. It makes it taste so much worse. Anyways, that's my jokey drawing. There's an episode of Frasier where, it's a long story, but there's an episode of Frasier where an artist draws Frasier's picture for a restaurant and it looks really goofy like this and Frasier is like insulted by it. Anyways, uh, so this is the kind of love and insanity that goes into a Christmas card from me. You know, it's been so long since we went out to get the stuff for the salad that I'm like 10 times hungrier now than what I was when we went out. So like the idea of making a salad for myself right now and like soup, like I'm too hungry. I, we waited too long and now I'm too hungry for a salad. All that work getting lettuce and broccoli and cauliflower and carrots and I don't even want it anymore. And you know what? I've been really good. And I have not had fast food for over a week. So I think we're going to make a little Steak and Shake run. There is a little bit of a line here at Steak and Shake. I guess everybody wants to come here and get their Christmas peppermint shake. Oh my god. I'm going to suck that thing down like nobody's business. Hey, look at these old people. Look at them. I have a little bow tie on, and it's 1948. Everything's good. Look, we're so old that we actually think balloons are a form of entertainment. I am probably way too excited to be eating a grilled cheese sandwich, french fries, and a peppermint shake. That's not exactly a, a gourmet fancy meal, but I don't usually eat like this. So um, it's just, it's such a treat when you only let yourself eat junk food, you know, like once a week. It's, I'm going to take those fries, and I'm going to clump them in my hand, I'm going to stuff them in my pants, wiggle my butt around, pull them back out, and I'm going to chomp those babies down. I'm not going to do that, but I'm excited. Well, I'm stuck in line right next to the menu, and I was going to look at it with you guys, but it is sleeting outside, so you can't see anything. Guys, I'm starving, and I noticed that I have these left in my car. They are gummy glitter snowflakes. If things get real bad, we're going to have to eat these to survive in here. Uh, the 
it tastes like vanilla, which is the best flavor ever, by the way. Ooh, tamper-proof seal. Okay, let's go over the spread, shall we? We've got some piping hot Campbell's tomato soup with Ritz crackers, and they're in the shape of snowflakes. That's right. And we've got some French fries. We, of course, have the glorious peppermint white chocolate shake. And then we've got the grilled cheese sandwich. And you might have noticed we got some we got some Christmassy stuff going on here. The plates, the napkin. I got nutcracker napkins, and I've got a little uh, little peppermint napkin as well. We are set. If there's a heaven, it's right here in front of us right now. By the way, shout out to these amazing premium white leather Marc Jacobs sneakers. Uh, I wore these tonight. I'm a pretty big fan. A lot of people might think that like most of the shoes I have are more like unique and elaborate or something like that. But you know, I can appreciate a pretty basic design as well. And these, uh, these white leather Marc Jacobs shoes are pretty cool. I like them. I actually have these in three different colors. I got them in this white, I have them in uh, gray and also orange, but they're pretty cool. It is 2.31 in the morning. And at the risk of being a little redundant, I think we're gonna go take another trip. You know, one of those good old fashioned 2.31 in the morning trips that you take to Walgreens so that you can buy some Sprite Winter Spiced Cranberry Sody Pop. Let's go take a 2.31 in the morning trip to get some Sprite Winter Spiced Cranberry. I'm, uh, I'm not going to drink it tonight, but I just feel like we need to stock up on it. So let's get bundled up and go out. And also, I really need um, milk as well for cereal in the morning. So that's kind of my excuse. But really... It's all about the Sprite Winter Spiced Cranberry, the official Christmas soda pop of America. I keep meaning to clean my window, my windshield here, because it looks like a dragon blue snot all over it or something. I don't want to alarm you guys, but the supply of Sprite Winter Spiced Cranberry at Walgreens was nearly depleted. There's only one bottle left, and look at this, it's totally out of reach. What madman concocted such a frosty, cold prank? Oh, wait a minute. Ac actually, they just moved it up here. Okay, uh, Christmas is saved, you guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Have you ever seen a more wonderfully festive soda pop beverage in all of your life okay that's it bye i'll uh i'll be back real soon with more nonsense